Well, my building has done it again. Construction all over. I wanted to make a new video today, but it's kind of hard making a video with nothing but construction. And what are you going to do? Do you hear that? See, I don't know how loud that's going to pick up over the microphone, but it's pretty loud. I'm going to have to... Should I put some noise canceling stuff on it or should I leave it alone so you can hear exactly how loud it is? I actually have my air conditioner on right now, which I usually turn off for the videos. But I have it on just to mask the sound of the construction noise. To be honest, in a way, uh, it's kind of good that this construction because it gives me an like it gives me an excuse because really I had nothing to make a video on anyways so now my video is just really whining about the fact that there's construction and I and I'm just all like oh I was gonna make this really great video but really I wasn't I really have nothing nothing to say nothing to talk about nothing to rant about I mean do I have anything to rant about I did have a conversation with a friend of mine the other day about how it feels like I'm not even living in reality anymore. To be honest, I don't know if I ever did feel. But, uh... I live in Ontario, Canada. And, uh... The new dude in charge here in Ontario is uh, this guy named Ford. Right? Um... And he's kind of like, uh, people are joking that he's like our own version of Donald Trump. And, uh, let me tell you, there's some weird people out there. Basically, this dude, since has been, he's been in office for like just a very short time, the first thing he did is that he cut all the sort of social programs that help poor people. He reduced them all. And his main goal is to lower the price of beer. That's his real main object objective, to lower the price of beer. Fuck the poor, fuck everybody. What we need is to lower the price of beer. So one dude south of us wants to build a wall, and this dude here wants to lower beer. That's his main goal. That's the state of the world. Uh, I don't know what to fucking say. Hold on. I got a text and normally I would never read a text while I'm making a video because it's really rude but there's so much construction going on like it's already rude anyways right so I mean honestly okay so uh, what was I gonna say um, yeah, it's a weird world we're living in. A very, very weird world. This is a very scattered video. Honestly, I'm not even fully awake yet. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I've started using a different microphone. I used to use this other microphone to record. It's called an Apogee mic. I don't know if it's called Apogee or Apogee. It's this thing that works with Mac, these sound systems called Apogee or Apogee. I was using the Apogee mic, but now I'm using my Shure SMB7, something like that, you know. You know, the mic with, the mic with this thing, but I took this off. I take this off when I record because it's clear. Um, so basically, I'm trying to see if this one sounds better or not. I'm really sort of... Uh, you know, experimenting a little bit. Uh, okay, so other than the fact that I feel like I'm living in some weird cartoon world, what else has been going on? Um, hmm. Nothing really. See? I really don't got much to say when I have nothing that I'm ranting about. Uh, 
I'm in a fairly calm mood. Nothing to really complain or whine about, nothing to rant about, nothing to talk about. Hmm. Well. Oh, you know what? I haven't done this in a while. I tried doing this before one time and I said I'm not going to do it again because I started reading news stories and they're all like horrible. That's the thing to... Uh, here's something I rant about. Why is every news story always horrible? You know, every news story is always horrible. Let's see what's been going on in the news. Hmm. No, that's not interesting. No, no. There's a story, there's a news story that says why two countries want to kill 100,000 beavers. Okay, that's interesting. By interesting, I mean not interesting at all. Mm, there's really nothing. Oh, I feel like I've just let down my 31 subscribers. Do I still have 31 subscribers? It's been fluctuating from 30 to 31. Let me see here. Yeah, 31 subscribers. That's not bad. It's not bad for an old man like me. I gotta say, uh, I'm really, I'm really proud of the last video I did called Life Hack for Judgmental People. That's, uh, that saying is something that I sort of, uh, came up with. And I was kind of like, oh, that, that's really, that's pretty powerful stuff. I remember Googling it and thinking, wow, I can't believe this is not like a common saying. Um, it's good to know that you just invented something. You're changing the world, Tony. Um, you know, because I've just so often seen people who just look at other people and they just they think they're superior than them like oh I, I can't believe what this person does I'm like hey settle down you know like I said that that life hack just it just doesn't work on atheists it works on like quote unquote spiritual metaphysical kind of people it basically works on anyone who believes that we have a a consciousness or soul that lives on past after we die but if you don't believe that then it doesn't work on you but if you do, because because remember, right? If you do have a soul or consciousness that lives on, then then I guess you don't die. So I guess that makes you mortal or eternal, and that means you're gonna have an infinite amount of time to experience everything, right? It's a good thing. Oh, how long is this video? eight minutes and 42 seconds I would sure like to make it like 10 minutes I find that 10 minutes is a perfect length for a video I'm sure most of you would disagree and say three minutes is a perfect length because that's the sort of like attention span people have but I think 10 minutes is a nice healthy sized video without being too long and uh, this construction it's you know it's rough but It is what it is. Um, hmm. Oh, I saw a YouTube video that was interesting recently. Uh, Casey Neistat, you know, very popular YouTuber, really great YouTuber. He made a video celebrating his 10 million subscribers that he recently got. And he said something pretty interesting. He said 10 million is nice. But uh, it, getting to 10 million was nice, but it wasn't as hard as getting to 1 million. And I thought to myself, oh yeah, that makes sense. And then he said 1 million was nice, but it was nowhere near as hard as getting to like 100,000. And I thought, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then he said, 
100,000 was nice, but nothing was harder than getting to 10,000. And I thought to myself, wow, that is true. Getting to 10,000 subscribers is like the ultimate. That probably is the hardest thing to do, because once you have like 10,000 subscribers or something similar to that, you already have an audience. So it's easier to grow an audience when you have an audience. But when you have no one watching your videos like me, it's really hard to grow an audience. It's interesting. So I guess my new ultimate goal now is to get to 10,000 subscribers and then just retire. What's left after that? There you go. That's, my, that's the title of this video. My 10,000 subscribers and retire. That is the ultimate goal. There's nothing else to do. That's the hardest thing to do on YouTube, to get to 10,000 subscribers. So after you've hit the top of the mountain, what's the point? Just go out on top. So that's my goal. 10,000 subscribers and then I retire from YouTube. And I'll leave it at that. So uh, I know the construction was kind of crazy, but it is what it is. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.